here in uh, New Hampshire where we did so well in the uh, first primary election in the country that the press uh, concluded I was a real threat to uh, the powers that be and we went on to win the next primary which was Wisconsin and from that point on um, I think uh, the path okay now we got it now we got it okay I knew New Hampshire would come through I don't like, uh, I don't like to see the uh, American troops going into Afghanistan to add, I think Barack Obama has the brilliance of mind and the moral character and um, the dedication to this country that is going to make him a great president. I worked for him and I have no regrets of that, but I think he made a mistake when one of his first actions was to increase the number of troops we have in Afghanistan by 20,000. I wish he had pulled out 20,000. The single payer. <laughs> because uh, we know what that is, that's Medicare. Uh, and I get, I've have gotten that ever since I was 65. I think it's wonderful. I don't pay any medical bills. I don't pay any hospital bills. Uh, everything's free. And I think it's wonderful. Now, it means that some people across the country pay a little more in taxes, including me. But it's less than I would be paying out if I were paying for all my own medical care. Who knows? All victim to some disease now that would stretch out for eight or ten years, exhaust every penny I had. But I think Lincoln was our greatest president. I take issue with it on lifting the writ of habeas corpus during the Civil War. I take issue with him on closing down certain newspapers that were critical to the administration to say, well, that was wartime, we had to do everything to win, is not an excuse. When a president is sworn in as president of the United States, he holds his right hand in the air, puts the left hand on the Bible and swears to uphold the Constitution of the United States. He doesn't swear to carry out his platform. A lot of people are hoping he won't uh, <laughs> carry out his, his uh, platform, but he does swear that one thing, loyalty to the Constitution of the United States, and that means the right of habeas course, the right to know why you're being charged why you're being jailed, and to hear that story from a judge. That's all habeas corpus is. There are lots of people thrown in jail prior to that that never knew why they were there and never had a chance for a judge to examine whether there was just cause of it. Maybe they might lay around in the prison for a couple of years and eventually reach a trial, but it's an important right, and so in my book, I take issue. I try to explain why he did this, why he thought it was necessary, but then I take issue with his actions.